Hello friends and welcome back to my Hyper Light Drifter playthrough. Uh, I'm an idiot, I started my recording with my mic muted, so that's why I'm in a different location than I was originally. Uh, you didn't miss too much, I, I basically just got a bunch of, uh, of money in that area that I was in before. I, I don't really know where that is for context. Uh, that's the... what the fuck? This is, this is where? Oh, this is that area. Okay, so this is to the left of the central hub thing that we were in earlier. Oh, okay, please. Yeah, so this is this is that area, basically. Uh, yeah, it didn't really miss too much. I, I don't think that it was a big deal. Basically, I realized like five minutes or five to ten minutes into the recording that my uh, my mic was muted the entire time. So basically, I had to scrap that and then we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna try again from the beginning. You can tell I am a professional, professional YouTube recorder. I'm, uh, well seasoned in, in the in the trade in the craft actually not at all so that's why these sort of mistakes are going to happen from time to time not a big deal what where what am i doing again i don't i don't even remember where everything is we're gonna fuck it dude we'll just move forward who cares we'll 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 comb through this area eventually but since I unlocked the, the top area here, we're just gonna go to the top area here. This was the area that was previously sealed off that I just unlocked with that switch. So we're gonna we're gonna go right first. That's the boss. I'm not gonna fuck around with the boss yet. Signs of civilization. Um what does this mean? Are there people here? Also, what is this? This is nothing. Okay. Give me this health pack. I want that health pack. Uh what is in here? This is, this is a switch, and that switch is going to do something. All right, that's what it's gonna do. Good stuff. Yeah, I just got the news that uh, <coughs> my girlfriend's brother is gonna come to my my place and uh, deliver some sweet banana cream pie, banana cake. I didn't really hear exactly what it was. It's like some banana cake with blueberries and, and raisins that that their mom made. She said that it was her experimental recipe and that if uh, if it was good, they'd deliver some to us. So that, that's nice of them. They're a very sweet family and big fan. Let's uh, let's move on along. Oots, 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 oots. Oots is like my, uh, my favorite noise. I don't know where it came from. I don't think that I made it up. Uh, most of the things that I say or that I do are, are not my original are not my original works are the best way to put it I would say uh, a lot of it it comes from stuff that I heard that just really resonated with me either from uh, you know other let's plays or just from people in my life in general and uh, I kind of just make it my own and eventually people just associate that with me I'm not sure if the people that I steal it from if it's like a real life friend if they actually even remember that it was originally their idea. I'm, I'm guessing that they do. Like, most people remember if somebody just starts talking like you all of a sudden. But, you know, uh, imitations is like the most sincere form of flattery. I don't do it on purpose. It's just that I think that's so funny that I repeat it. And then I repeat it so much that it just becomes associated with me instead of them. I do I do have this bad habit of uh, not rem Okay. Not remembering uh, the things that I have said to people. So I will often be that guy that tells them, what the fuck is that, dude? Oh my lord, that's terrifying. Jesus, I hate everything about this guy. Whoa! Holy shit, dude, can you calm down? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. I don't like how much the screen is shaking. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay, this is an easy attack to dodge. I got hit by it just as I said that, of course. It's, uh, insta-karma right there. What are you doing? Oh, you ate, you ate the bomb! You ate the bomb! You ate the bomb! Oh my god, oh my god. I wonder if all the other bosses had this exact same thing, where there was a, there was a weakness that they had, and I just never exploited it. Wow, that was the easiest boss by far. Maybe it's because I'm most well-equipped now. But, like, ima like compare this guy to the fucking bird. Like, is it is it a matter of just, I'm, I'm now, like, a godlike player at this game? Or is it just that this one is much easier? So yeah, I have a, I have a fear of, of frogs. It's not, like, crippling or anything like that. I think I, I touched on it very briefly. 
Sorry, I was just checking. I was just checking to see if my door was open there. Oh, of course. Yeah, the second one is just my own fault. Uh, yeah, I, I think I mentioned, I touched on this really briefly in one of the previous episodes that I, I don't, I don't really care for animals. Uh, you know, with the story of my mom and her pet rabbit being eaten, you can go look that episode up if you're interested. But basically, uh, I've never, I've never really liked animals, and I've always had this sort of. Uh, I guess, I guess fear is the best way to put it, but, you know, healthy respect is another way you, you could put it nicely, or, uh, less weirdly. Basically, um, whenever I see dead animals especially, I get really freaked out. Like, I can't, uh, I can't pick up the dead bodies of, like, mice and stuff that end up, uh, as roadkill or anything like that. Which occasionally happens, there was actually an incident just a little while. Is that a new gun? That's a new gun. Ooh. Alright, well, we're not using... We're not using this gun. We're using... Wait. Are these the same gun? No, these are two different guns. Okay. So which gun is this? Oh, it's a shotgun! Interesting, interesting. And then the other one's my usual laser beam. Okay. Cool. I like that. Yeah, so uh, just a, just a few uh, few weeks ago, there were, there was this dead, uh, dead mouse body on my driveway. We weren't too sure what was going on. Uh, originally, I was actually very scared that it was the dead body of my brother's hamster. We uh, we buried the hamster in our backyard, and we didn't bury it very deep because the soil in our backyard, like we haven't done anything to it since we moved in, so it's it's just rock solid. We basically found one soft patch and tried to tried to bury her underneath there, but because it, it isn't it isn't like the the most ideal situation, uh, we were told that it may be too shallow and once it starts to rot, uh, animals may come in and try and dig her up. So I was actually really scared that it was that, because that that would just be, like, that, that's a little messed up, right? Like, you know, even if you're the most kind of callous kind of person, it's, it's definitely not every day where you experience seeing the dead body of your beloved pet dragged out from the, uh, from the grave. So I, I didn't want to like, I, I would have wanted to get rid of it instead of my brother, but I, I went close to it, and I just saw the dent body, and I saw the fur. Like, the fur just really freaks me out. I don't know why, but, like, fur just really freaks me out. Like, I have this healthy fear of living animals as well. I, I got over it eventually, because, you know, my girlfriend has uh, three cats, so it's not really the sort of thing that you can... Uh, you can be be afraid of forever, or you know that that house is just gonna be like a uh, like the the Adams family house. Once again, a reference that I barely understand. I was trying to think of what a, a popular scary house is, but I couldn't think of it in the moment because I'm busy being the world's greatest swordsman. But oh, I healed. Oh, uh, misclick. Okay, no big deal. I don't think I've been here, so we're just gonna we're just gonna explore a little bit. Oh, and I took it right to the dome piece. Good for me. Ate it right to the D. Um, is there is there a way out here? Oh, there's just a switch there. That's cool. What what did I just press? What what do these things do? Okay. Sure. Uh, I dig it. I dig it. Oh, I don't dig that though. That was my bad. That was my bad as well. Let's uh... These are all my bad to be honest. None of these are, are anybody's fault other than my own. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Just poor, poor mechanical play basically. Oh my good god. Holy shit. I need some help with this dude. This is, this is too much for me. Alright, alright, alright. All right, all right, all right. No problem, right? No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Look at that. Look how nice that was. What does this do? This does nothing. Okay. Uh, let's go down first, I guess. So was that like an optional boss, or was that like the actual boss of this area? Let me. Oh, oh! This doesn't pause the game. Good to know, I guess. Uh, anyway, so I have this healthy fear of animals, and why I mention this is that frogs especially is the first, uh, port- This- like, I feel like this means something, right? 
Yeah, it does. Yeah, it totally does. Holy shit, I'm so smart. I had to shoot the wall before it would let me out. Oh my goodness, I'm so smart. This, this symbol on the ground looks suspicious to me. So, uh, yeah, my first experience with, uh, that I remember being really scared of an animal was I was in, in China for, uh, for my mom's high school reunion. They all brought their kids. And there's this group of us that were from uh, the West, like they're, they're, they were all from the States. I was the one, only one from Canada. But uh, we were chilling, we were playing hide and seek in the resort, you know, it was a really big, it was a nice fancy villa in China, and um, there was a lot of space, so we were playing hide and seek, and it was really fun. I was it, I remember, and this one kid, he was from Washington, I can't remember exactly where, but he and I were pretty, were pretty tight over the course of that weekend. Uh, we've never spoken again, of course, because we were like 8 years old, so we, I don't even think Facebook was existing back then. It might have been. I didn't get Facebook until like 2012, so that would have been irrelevant either way. But, um... Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Ooh! No, no, no. No, 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 no. But he was a, a bit of a wild child. Like, he would, uh... He would always be picking up, uh... Like, baby shrimp or... Ooh! Nice. Or other uh, animals whenever we saw them on the... On the... During the resort. This is nothing. Sorry, inside the villa. And uh, while we were playing hide and seek, you know, I, I was it. I was trying to find him. And I just saw him like ducked over in the in the river in like this this uh, fake stream. Or like this this constructed stream. It was a real stream. And uh, I was just like, oh, you know, what the what the fuck you doing? Because, you know, I, I caught you now, you know? You're defeating the purpose of the game here. And he turns to me, and in his hands is this giant bullfrog. And he just pushes it to my face, and I start freaking the fuck out because I've never had a frog that close to my face before, and uh, I I don't like it. It's it's not nice, you know. They're real ugly. I hate the the neck, how it bulbs out, and like as it breathes, it just feels like it's gonna, like its neck is like an expanding balloon or some shit. I just hate it. I hate everything about it. But um. Yeah, he chased me down inside the, the house, he brought it in with him. I was, I was backed into a corner, he just put it up against my face. And of course he knows that that, that frog's not gonna hurt me. It's not like, it's dangerous, he was holding it in his fucking bare hands after all, right? But, uh, you know, of course since I was not as well versed with animals, you know, very much a city boy, I, I freaked out. And since then I've always kind of disliked frogs. Animals in general, I don't think that that was what triggered it. I think that it was the other way around, actually. That I don't, I didn't like animals that much, so that incident was more scary to me than uh, than it would be for the regular the regular human. What is this? This is nothing. Okay. I I saw that fragment, by the way. That fragment is, you know, it's ass is mine for sure. But I just need to know. I just need to figure out exactly how I'm going to accomplish that feat. This is something? Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a health pack. Oh. That was me trying to hold back a burp there. That was my hold back burp uh, voice. Okay, yeah. I'll fight through this crowd, no big deal. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I fucked it up. There you go, there you go. I think I wasted a health pack there. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, get the fuck out of my face, dude. You're in the presence of the world's best. Oh, okay, okay. I missed that one, but, you know, the world's best also miss from time to time. Yeah, that one was... Maybe maybe my title should be revoked after that one. Okay. Uh, nice fragment right here. I like it. I like it. 10 out of 10. Give that to me right now. So, we found 6 in this area already. So it does seem like there's eight in in every in every quadrant, and uh, you know we'll, we'll figure that out as we go on. I don't know if I, like, how did I do that? Like, how did I do the the super fast dash? One, two, three. No, didn't work. All right. Um. So do I have to backtrack here, or is there like just a way out here? I feel like there should just be a way out, right? That would make more sense to me. But it doesn't seem like there is? Question mark? Yeah, it doesn't seem like there is. Okay, we'll, we'll just move on along then. Wait, this area is no longer blocked. That area was blocked before. Can I just jump off this cliff? No. 
the what the fuck am I doing, man? I guess this is just to, to make the backtracking faster. Alright, sure. We'll get out. We'll get out. Oh, Alright, there's an elevator right here. Okay. Sounds good, sounds good. But yeah, so since then I've always had this uh, this fear of frogs and um it's it's not like crippling, like when I see frogs at the aquarium or whatever, uh that doesn't bother me at all. Like they're behind a cage. I don't I couldn't I couldn't give less of a shit about animals that are behind cages. But uh, in the in the exposed area, well, I've never I've never experienced a frog in the the wide open spaces other than that one time. But in uh, in exposed areas, I think that they would still bother me quite a lot. Where is this? Was have I been here before? Where am I now? I have no idea. Let's, uh, I guess we'll just explore through this area then. I mean, maybe we can just get access to all eight fragments right now. I doubt it. Like, that doesn't seem legit to me. But, uh, if possible, I, I would be down, you know? Who would be against that? Save me some backtracking later. I really like this area. It's really nice. It feels like all the, all the, the paths are mostly above ground as well, which means the map is easy to read. Am I just standing on the skull of, like, this giant? Holy shit. That's pretty freaky. Oh! Good for me, as always. Get the fuck out of here! Oh! Oh, I killed myself! Oh, I'm an idiot, Jesus. Alright, come back up, come back up. Let's, uh, let's not, let's not fuck around too much like that again. Uh, let's go to this area again. These guys are the plant rolls. We'll wait for them to explode this time. Oh, they're just gonna chain reaction explode on each other. That sounds even better. And uh, what am I doing here? Is there actually nothing? How could there just be nothing? All right. You know, the the game will just do me dirty from like that from time to time. I guess not a big deal. You should just expect it. The game is not your friend after all. Um. Okay. There's a flower. And there's nothing here, once again. This is very mysterious to me. I'm gonna go up, actually. We're gonna go back up to where we were, just for a moment. Just because I want to check something out here. These, uh, these dragonflies are very, very cool looking. I like the look of them. There's nothing here? This is nothing, really? Okay. Maybe there's like a fishing rod or something later on. I've always enjoyed uh, fishing in those Harvest Moon type games, you know? I mentioned this because I was just playing Stardew Valley and I went on the largest fishing spree of my, my young farming career. It was great. I didn't know that... Oh, there's something right there. I see. I've learned that this dot means something, usually. What did that do? Did you see me just triple dash there? Like, how the fuck am I doing that? Where did I come from? I came from right there. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna explore this area first. This oh these boats can be stood on. Interesting. I didn't even realize that the first time around. Okay, that might change stuff when we go down. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. What about here? Is this can this be stood on? No, that's beneath the ground. Okay. So I was just here. I shot that thing right there. What did that do? Wait, I didn't. I didn't do anything? Yeah, yeah, it did do something. Oh, I just turned it off. God fucking damn it. Oh my lord. Okay, I need to, to slash some shit. Wait, can I, can I... No, that's nothing. Okay. What about here? This is something. Yeah, this is for sure something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice. Is that it? That's it? Just, just money? Okay, I'll take it. Um, we need to charge up our gun somehow. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a key, bro? Yeah, alright, one sec. Alright, back to business. That was just the, the cake being delivered. If I was a responsible adult, I would have... Wait, can I stand on that? Oh, there you go. Look at that. Got, just got to think outside the box as what to, what is a platform and what is not from time to time, I suppose. Now, 
here's my question. Can I push this off? No, I cannot, okay? And that thing is not anything. Right. So, uh, do I have any charges? No, I don't. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna charge up our gun a little bit and then we're gonna go back up to where we were. Uh I know I said no, you know, less backtracking, but I feel like in this case this was just purely my own stupidity, so. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I, I got the heal off. Nice, 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 nice. Just keep slashing. Just keep slashing. You're the greatest horseman in the world. They can't touch you. Alright, and you, you heal. You heal as well, you know, obviously. The greatest swordsman in the world still has to heal. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. You got me, you got me. You destroyed my confidence, okay? Is that enough for you? Come on. You don't have to take my life as well. Anyway, yeah, that was just the cake being delivered, so... Uh... I will go and try that later. I'm actually not a huge fan of desserts. Oh, 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 one... All right, back to business. That was the uh, cake part two, cake harder. Let's just, uh, oh. is there something here? Okay, never mind. That's not anything. Let's stop walking off the cliff like an idiot. All right, we're gonna go back up eventually. Yeah, we're gonna go back up right now. Uh, okay, episode's almost done as well. So we're just gonna explore that upper area there that I just had access to but squandered the opportunity to access and then we're going to probably cut the episode there let's uh let's move on up where are we at where are we at there we go i did it all right so we go up here and this better be more than just money it's a key all right that is more than just money good job good job me Oh, that's weird, I dashed all the way away from it. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the bottom here. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it going for a little bit. I'm, I'm getting the feeling that we're at the end of the episode here. I need to learn how to do this with some amount of consistency, this double dash thing, because I feel like it's actually a really useful skill, and if I just knew how to do it, then I could actually make use of it. As, as it is right now, it's just an occasional thing that helps me move a little bit faster to my destination. Okay. I don't know what these are. Like, we've we found like four or five of these already, but I have no idea what this is supposed to do. Uh, maybe it's just like a plot line kind of thing where once you translate it. So this is the universal secret for, this is the universal secret uh, symbol, symbol for secret. Well, we have learned this now. Have I been here before? Yeah, I've definitely been here before. Okay. Okay. I don't think we've been through this door, though. Let's take a look what's in this door. Behind door number one is a vacation home for you and your family. Uh, I don't think I've been here. It, it is possible that I've been here already, though. Alright, that's a wall. Cool. Just needed to try. You never know unless you figure it out with your own body, right? Oh my god, okay, I, I'm gonna revoke my world's best swordsman title away from myself there. Alright, so uh, we're just gonna go through that door and then we're gonna cut that episode off from there. That was just sad, god damn it, dude. Wait, does this not autosave? Okay, we're, we'll go towards the next autosave. And then uh, and then we'll finish it off. Alright, alright. I'm ready for you this time, you piece of shit. That was terrible. If dodging had some sort of penalty, uh, sorry, if dying had some sort of penalty, I don't know if I would enjoy the game more or less, because as it is now, I just feel kind of stupid. But if, um, uh, like, if I had more high stakes, maybe I would be more scared, but at the same time, I think this experience would be way more frustrating. I like the difficulty level of the game so far. It does feel a lot easier than I had originally expected. I thought it was actually pretty hard, but, um, it seems like... That was either just inexperience or me just playing against that boss poorly. This is an eight-piece door. Okay. So there has been at least one eight-piece door per area. I was just about. To, I was just thinking that this is the only one so far that hasn't had the eight-piece door. 
Okay, so how am I supposed to do this? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't I don't get how you're supposed to get through this. This is insane. Uh alright. So that's probably where we're gonna cut it off here. Let's uh, let's warp back to town. That's enough of this area. We'll warp back to our, our good old town here. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the episode, I'd appreciate a like and comment rating. They'd help me out a lot. Uh, if you want to see more, there's going to be another episode up tomorrow. But for now, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.